Happy Monday, everybody. It's Dr. Matt with Full Potential Chiropractic on your Monday tip of the week. Uh, now, two weeks ago, we asked about uh, what are some things you guys struggle out with your health. Uh, one in particular was exercising for the uh, older adults. Um, so there's a couple of benefits. Obviously, it's not a couple. There's a lot, actually. Uh, physical benefits, mental benefits, right? So when we're talking about physical benefits, right, it helps you maintain or lose weight. Uh, maybe if you want to gain strength as well, uh, as far as the more muscle mass, right? Reduce the impact of illness and chronic disease is another one. Um, enhances mobility, flexibility, and balance. Um, for mental benefits, it improves sleep, boosts mood and self-confidence, right? And does amazing things for your brain as well as fighting off or stop the progressing of a lot of uh, diseases and disorders uh, that are maybe going on in your brain as well. So. A couple of things, or a couple, you know, a few things that people ask me in the the office here. Uh, you know, what if uh, there's no point to exercising, right? I'm I'm just going to get old and wither away, right? That's not true, right? Uh, there's research, tons of research saying that you know regular physical activity helps you look and feel younger, allows you to stay independent longer. And for the older adults, I know that's a bigger thing, right? Is making sure that uh, we stay as independent as as long as possible. Um, another one is exercise just puts me at the risk of, you know, falling down, right? So anything can put you at the risk of falling down if you don't pay attention um, or we're not focused on where we're going. Uh, but, you know, regular exercise, but building strength and stamina and the muscles and the stronger bone density will allow you, right, to stand up longer, straighter, uh, stay more balanced, right? Now, if you have a more of a balance issue as far as vertigo or anything like that, we're going to have... You know, that's another issue. Uh, another thing people ask me, uh, well, you know, it's too frustrating. I'm never going to be the athlete I once was. Well, we're never going to be the athlete we once were, but we can still try to be or we can still, you know, strive to be, right? So that what that means is, um, you know, all these things we're are going to eventually lose a little bit of, right? So, you know, whether it's your hormones, metabolism, bone density, muscle mass, whatever it may be, right? But that doesn't mean we can't ever get some of it back or, uh, reduce the you know progression of it so uh, definitely you know getting regular exercise weight training cardiovascular training hit training uh, when under supervision can uh, definitely boost a lot of those things that a lot of times we see drop because we stop doing those because we have these mental blockages in our head that oh I'm never gonna be the one the way I used to be so I'm just gonna stop doing it all together uh, how about this one I'm too old to start exercising uh, nobody's ever too old, right? I just recommend that you don't start out um, just doing something to do something. Hi, getting supervision, getting a trainer, which I know a couple of great ones. Um, so come find me if you're looking for one. Uh, definitely can get you in the right direction uh, of what things you should start doing and stop doing or be careful of doing. Um, the next one is I can't exercise because I'm disabled. Um, there are a lot of chair bound exercises, flexibility, uh, things that we can do, uh, a lot of chair-bound uh, classes that are coming out with, with yoga, tai chi, a lot of fun things that people are starting to do for those that are disabled to a chair or any other particular reason. Um, so there's definitely ways we can, uh, you know, get back strength, mobility, flexibility, all those things. Um, how about if you're too weak or you have all these aches and pains, arthritis, right? If I already have all this arthritis, I don't want to be in more pain. Right. Well, there's definitely ways around that. Right. Just because you work out doesn't mean you're going to be in more pain. Right. Your muscles may be sore, but that's smart of your body. Your body's reacting to what you're doing, which is very important. OK. But what you want to understand is arthritis is getting in there because those joints aren't being used. Right. So I'll have us come into the office saying, oh, my joints hurt. It's the weather or, you know, it's it's this, it's that. Well, no, there's it can be a lot of things. But ultimately, like, if the joints aren't being used, arthritis is seeping in there. And arthritis, arthritis will start to take over because nothing is being used. So if you get out there and use it, you're going to build up that stronger bone density. You're going to build up some of that muscle mass. You're going to get some of that muscle stamina back. So your your muscles, your joints can start to, uh, you know, f you know, function a lot better. So um, on the part two of this video, there's a lot to unpack with this guy. So I'm just going to keep a couple short videos. Part two of this video is how how to start up. 
you know, your own exercise plan. If you already have some of the tools, how do you start it? If you don't have any of the tools, where do you go? Um, what are some of the things that you can do, look out for, and I'll point you in the right direction. So if you guys have any questions about this video, comment below, email me, stop me in the office, we'll talk a little bit. Thanks guys, have a great Monday.